Hello, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Karma to integrate information from multiple sources. I'm using a data set from Becker and Bitzer from a paper they presented at ISWC in 2010. Here we have information about drugs and genes and diseases from multiple sources. There are files from the PharmGKD source, from the Allen Brain Atlas, Check Pathway, and Unipra. They all contain information about drugs and they contain different information that we would like to put together. So let us look at the sources uh, for a little bit. So here is the information about drugs uh, from the it's a tab separated file and it has the accession IDs, the names and the alternate names of this drug. Uh, and here's another source, uh, it's the PharmGKD pathways that contains information about pathways. And uh, here we see the same uh, gene, and uh, here the accession ID is called gene accession ID, whereas here it was called PharmGKD ID. And in addition to the name, uh, there is information about uh, how it relates to genes, and diseases and the pathways affected by the disease. So let us look at the ontology before we start. Uh, so here is the ontology in protege. So there are classes for genes, pathways, diseases, etc. And uh, there are a whole bunch of relationships between them. So if you look at the types of relationships that they have, we see that uh, you know, there are drugs uh, can cause uh, disease and so on, uh, that pathways can be disrupted by, by diseases. Uh, in addition, we have a bunch of data properties. Uh, so there are the names of the, of the different genes and pathways and all kinds of different IDs. So the goal is to take the sources and align them to that ontology and then we're going to translate all this information to RDF according to that ontology. So let me show you how we do this in Karma. The first step is to load the ontology. So I'm going to come here, find the ontology and load it. It's called wiki.al. system successfully did this. So now I'm going to do one of the sources uh, and I'm going to start with this one that contains information about you know, pathways and genes and drugs. So Karma looks in the file, it uh, identifies the headings and uh, it did this correctly so I can import the source. Now the first step is to model the source according to the ontology. So I show a tell to show me the model. And here the, what I'm going to do first is going is to define the semantic types of each of the columns. Uh, so if I click here, uh, Karma shows me suggestions for what it thinks the semantic types are. I had worked with these sources before, so Karma was trained to identify the type of data that's in each column. So Karma knows that uh, things that start with PAs and have numbers like this uh, could be the farm GKD IDs of pathways or of drugs or diseases and names because they actually look pretty similar. Uh, and this is uh, the correct choice, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to mark this as a key for the class to tell Karma that it should use those values when it generates URIs for pathways. So Karma shows me what I told it, that uh, this column has the PharmGKD IDs of pathways. So let me continue with the other columns. Uh, this is indeed the names of pathways. Uh, session ID. So Karma correctly identifies that uh, you know, these are the PharmGKD IDs of genes. 
uh, I'm going to pretend that uh, karma uh, got this only slightly right, like uh, say here, uh, and click here. And uh, so this is really a gene. I can browse the ontology and I can search for gene. Uh, if it was a large ontology, this would be very helpful. Uh, so here's gene I selected. Uh, similarly, if uh, I didn't know what ID type of ID this is, I can say browse. I can tell Karma to only show me the properties that have domain gene, and it shows me all the kinds of IDs that uh, genes can have. And in this case, in this source, this is actually a farm GKB ID, so I'm going to select it. Is also to be used for generating URIs. Now, in addition to recording the semantic type here, Karma looked in the ontology and in all the relationships uh, between the classes and found that uh, you know the genes and the pathways can be related using this property, meaning that the gene is involved in the pathway. So let me uh, keep doing this. I'll quickly go to the other classes. Uh, this is the name of a gene, uh, the accession ID of a drug, uh, which is this one, uh, and it's also to be used to generate the URI. And uh, as you can see, Karma keeps certain, you know, always connecting all the semantic types. So to find a way that they are related in the ontology. So the drug targets the pathway and the gene is involved in the pathway. So drug name, it's the name of a drug. Uh, submit, let me do diseases now. So again, it identifies that it's the ID of a disease. And I say submit. And then it finds that a way to relate all of them is that the disease disrupts the pathway. Uh, so let me finish and define the name of the disease. So I do that here. And now I have completed the model. Now, uh, as you remember from the ontology, there were lots of different relationships between the classes. So suppose that uh, you know the relationships that uh, Karma found here are not the correct ones. So suppose that uh, it is not the case that the gene is involved in the pathway. So I can click here and, and Karma shows me what other relationships are valid according to the ontology. Uh, so for instance, uh, I can say that the disease is ca caused by the gene. So if I click there, and I say submit, then karma changes the model. Now the disease is caused by the gene. It used to say here, I can undo, that the gene is involved in the disease, in the, in the pathway. So I'm gonna leave it like this because this is actually the correct model. So at any time, I can uh, go to a cell and tell karma to show me what the RDF that it's going to generate according to this model looks like. So here is the RDF for uh, you know, PA this. So I see that uh, you know, it, it, it's a, there's a lot of triples that it's going to generate because this pathway is related to diseases and genes and drugs. So that is of part of the cleverness here that you know, after karma infers all the relationships, it can actually generate the right RDF. So to generate the RDF, uh, I go here and I say publish RDF. Uh, and I can find the namespace uh, and hit submit. And then I can click here in this link and uh, I can see the RDF that got generated. Now, I also took the trouble to, to load the RDF into OpenRDF. And so I see here, for instance, for this particular drug, that we have some information coming from the farm GKD pathway source and some from the drug source. 
So for instance, from the from the DKB pathways, I see that you know the drug targets this particular pathway, and from the other source, I see all the alternative symbols that uh, have been used to define this, you know, to refer to this drug. So in the same way, I can keep doing this uh, for all the sources, and then you know, in about half an hour or less, I can model all the sources, generate the RDF, and basically have integrated all my data. 